Hello there, and welcome back to my next episode on the Wells Knight Patreon server. I am Mar, and we are here at my base, and I know it looks... Well, what little you can see of it, it looks very different from what very little we've seen so far. Basically, I've been really busy um, working on the base, um, spending a lot of time hanging out with the, the rest of the neighborhood uh, people, um, Gru and Morgren and Jirak and all the rest of them. Um, so I, I have been kind of guiltily doing a lot of playing and not a lot of recording, unfortunately. Um, not a lot of it has been very significant. We'll get into this in a few minutes. As you can see, or not, because I've got all these, uh, all of this bamboo growing here. I like using it for sticks. Uh, it saves me from having to chop down wood to make sticks. So I like the bamboo for that quite a lot. Um, as you can see, I've got my bamboo, I've got my cows, I've got my wheat, I've got scaly butts. Nope, go away, go away. Nope, stop, nope, nope. Zombie, go away. You two, dead. There we go. Um, and I've got my little bit of, uh, of sugar cane over here. Other than that, all of my farms have been moved. Well, you know, in the, the fish farm up there. I've still got my villagers down here. Um, and I have bad news. Um, pretty sad news, actually. I may or may not have been goofing around with Jirak and Morgren. And in an attempt to shoot one of them, I accidentally shot and killed my doggy. It was uh, sitting right here ever since I arrived here. It's the one that I tamed in my in the very first episodes on the way over here. You know, I, I feel really bad about it. I, oh, no, we're not going to think about it. It just makes me want to well, throw myself into a corner and start crying. Um, I feel really bad about that. <laughs> and, and in other news, uh, they killed me and they are keeping my head hostage. Um, I have their heads. Not, they, they gave me those ones, um, but they are holding mine hostage, and I will get it back. I will get it back, you hear me? And and I asked for my head back, and they brought me this. That is not my face. I'm a little insulted. Um, but but this is what I've got going on um, inside my... This isn't even really my base. Like the, I, Obviously, we've got 500 by 500. That's our base boundary. Um, our center point is pretty much, well, right where the portal is, but you can't see it from here. So pretty much where the, the fish farm goes up. That's more or less the center. We're going to have a giant build here by the end of the season, if all goes according to plan. So that's like the main structure of our base. But realistically, all the bits are going to be in here. So we've got this, hopefully, what will be an interesting entrance to the base. Um, I want to put sugar cane, automatic sugar cane, in this section here and that section there. I don't need a lot of sugar cane. Um, just a little bit. I think the green will add, give a, a nice pop of color as well, especially behind these beams here. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do on this wall and this wall and, and then the same thing on the other side. I'm still thinking about that. Um, we can't really go too much more up before we start breaking into the, you can see we've got grass right there. We break into the surface of the side of the hill up there. Um, and you can hear, I'm sure, uh, if my sounds are high enough anyway for you to hear it, um, water dispensing over and over again. This is where I have my general mob farm. It's just the uh, standard Wells Knight design. Um, and now I do realize, I am aware, don't, don't worry, I am aware, that if you're too close, they can't spawn. And I realize that the top few layers here are definitely too close while I'm in here. However, once we actually finish in here and start moving out here and working on the main structure, the top layers of this will, will resume working like normal. Um, and if we're working like say on the other side of this uh, the iron farm here, we will get spawns there as well because I'm pretty sure that's far enough away. Um, but this does go pretty much all the way down to bedrock. So we are still getting spawns. Um, I have been most working most recently with the storage design. It's going to be kind of a weird storage design, I guess. Um, so we've got some chests here and then like a single column of, uh, of the barrels in there because, you know, you want to play around with the new blocks and everything. Same on this side. Um, I'm using signs facing this way so that it's easy to spot what you need. Um, saying what's inside the chest, although I have placed... Uh, because you can't put signs in the same block, but you can put a sign and a, an item frame in the same block. So to mark what's inside each of these barrels, I'm going to use these item frames with uh, the corresponding item to say what's inside of it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here. I, I'm 
trying to build this as a you know mirror image of over here over here of course as you can see we've got the six uh chests for the mob farm you know you got your gun part your bones your string your zombie flesh your arrows and then your general things for it you know the occasional witch that you end up with and then these first two are for the iron farm now this iron farm is um doc's design and uh, I, I, did, I made a few tweaks and it seems to be working reasonably well. It's just a single cell. Um, I don't know if the rates are super good. Com I mean, and, uh, I, there are other people on the server who report having better rates. Um, it could just be, you know, coincidence. I don't know. But it, it works well enough for me because I already have, you know, a lot of iron blocks <laughs> just passively standing here. I get them. See, there goes a the guy right now. Bye bye. Bye bye, go die, fall down, and he disappears, and he's down there, and he's dying. Um, so that works out pretty well. This is automatically sorting. This is what actually is right here. The items um, for this iron farm fall down there. You know, you go to the, the iron golems go to the kill chamber way down there. Can't really see it from here. Um, there, things get collected in a, a, in a hopper chain, and it eventually gets spit up here using a, a, an old-fashioned item elevator. You know, going through the the whole box. I also have the uh, the item collection for the mob farm going into the same exact circuit. So they both come up here, and you just saw some iron going spitting down there. It comes here, and then I have another clock in here to just bring it up the last couple blocks, because obviously I, I couldn't have it just coming up in the middle of my staircase. That'd be silly. So I have it going up into the corner, and then it feeds around back here to my redstoney bits, um, and, and through the hopper chains here, and I've got the filters in. Um, of course, they are naturally all marked subscribe. Because <laughs> what else are you going to name your zombie flesh, right? And I accidentally miscalculated. I just got a little bit left over. I forgot that I'm not filtering this. This is going to be anything else. So the things you get from spiders and witches, essentially. Um, I'm, I still haven't finished sorting through my storage. I've got a whole bunch of rubbish in there, a whole bunch of rubbish in there. Um, this is where originally the walking level was up here, so that's why these chests are so high. I can't even really read them anymore. Um, it's, it's really difficult. So we've got, you know, look at all this leather. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this leather. The cows are unbelievable. I have so much steak and so much leather, it's ridiculous. But I'm not going to complain. So I'm just going to keep killing them and getting more. So this is all my woody sort of stuff. Um, dyes and growable things, random blocks, uh, decoration type things. Um, over here I've got some, a lot of this is just random rubbish, but some of it is also stuff I got from the, uh, the AFK fish farm. And these noisy people are my sheep. I've got all of the colors of the sheep, um, and it's automatically shearing them. So uh, you come back here and you can see we've got thing full of shears uh, none of the shears have broken yet and it's, it's coming along pretty good um, we've got a couple stacks of pretty much all of the colors uh, you know varying amounts I mean because it's not you know it's not 100% how much will you get each time you shear a sheep so you can get some more sometimes you know some colors or less or whatever um, the only one I have a great amount of is white and there's like one gray sheep that's still in there <laughs> One day I'm going to have to take him out and put him in the right slot, but white is what I had the most of because uh, that's what I, you know, that's what the, the most likely color for a sheep is out on the landscape. And originally I had them out there with my, out there with my cows. So that's pretty much getting you caught up with the base so far. Um, I do have my beacon. It's, you know, giving me haste too, as you can see up there in the corner. Um, my immediate plans here are to continue working on this area here. I want to get all the farms up and running basically before we start building the massive structure. Um, last season I, I started doing a lot of the building and then kind of did farms as I came to needing them and I didn't really like how that turned out because it meant I didn't have a stockpile ready for me when I needed it. It meant I had to build the farm and then wait even longer to get the resources that I actually needed from it. That's why this iron farm was the first thing I built. I didn't even have my beacon. I, I mined a, a fair chunk of this without a beacon at all. Um, I did eventually get a beacon by the time I finished it though. Bye bye! Go die! Have fun! See you later! Um, the sheep farm was the next thing I put in because you know I wanted wool. I wanted to get them out of over there. Um, so yeah, I, I, I really want to do a lot of farms. Um, now, I'm thinking 
that like the, we've got these really ugly walls on all four sides of the iron farm and I really want to put I want to like sort of wrap my base essentially around the iron farm so that this sucker is always running except I, I don't know exactly what its range is it might not run all the time when we're outside actually working on the the main structure that we're going to do this season but I definitely want to do a lot of work in here. I think I will put a super smelter along there and then think about other things to put down here. Of course, I already mentioned that I want to do the, uh, the, the um, sugarcane farms in this area. I want to do a cactus farm, probably a bamboo farm. Because, I mean, I could do it manually like this, but it's kind of tacky just spreading it out, <laughs> out here on my yard all the time. I won't do an automatic farm for the cows because I like being able to use my looting on them. And so, I, but I do want to still move them inside. So I'm going to move the, the wheat field in there and move the cows in there. Now I know it looks kind of weird right now because they're all standing still. We actually have a server side plugin running that is supposed to help with uh, the, the server lag. So whenever the server's struggling and, and there's any areas that have too many mobs and too much in, in too enclosed of a space, it basically freezes their AI so that they can't move. Um, I don't know how effective it is, but it, well, we've got it running. Um, but it's fine. They, they work just as fine frozen as they would otherwise. So <laughs> that's always... Um, so yeah, let's see. Is there anything else I need to say? Uh, the end island. So I believe I mentioned at the la at the end of the last episode that this season's end project is going to be space themed. So um, I've already gotten the project approved by the mods, and they are going to um, or not they uh, we are going to. Um, build a giant spaceship, like a circular donut shape type thing, and it's going to encompass all 20 of the, um, uh, the, the gateways out to the outer island, um, and there's going to be, like, littler points of interest, little spaceships, be a little space base, um, almost, if you've played it, kind of like the space version of Subnautica, you know, there's going to be, like, habitation areas, um, all sorts of stuff like that. I think it's going to turn out to be really cool. So far, the only thing that's really happened over there is that a whole bunch of people on the server have gone and tore the um, the obsidian pillars all the way down. Um, but we're not actually done, because I think we're going to need more space than that. So Gru and I have been talking about taking a whole bunch of... Uh, well, I suggested TNT. He's like, no, I've got so many guest tiers. Let's go use the nether stars. <laughs> um, or... Another stars? Oh man, my inventory is already full. Beautiful thing, I love you. Sticks. I can have so many sticks with this stuff, it's ridiculous. Let's put that in there. Oh man, it's not even enough. Let's put that in there. Um, is it nether stars? No, it's uh, nether crystals. No, end crystals, end crystals. What am I saying nether for? That's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, because those explosions are, are nuts. So we're thinking we're going to have to shave the island down like 20 blocks just so that we have enough space to build the space station um, and still be able to encompass, you know, the gateways and all that fun stuff all at once. Um, so it's going to be quite a lot of work. I don't know how soon I'll actually start working on it, though. I think I want to get myself uh, essentially established here at my base first, you know, get the farms up and running. Um, and then start working on building the aesthetic things of the actual base, you know, the large structure they're going to have here, as well as the end island, uh, once I get to that point. I'm full again? Goodness. So, those are the, in, those are the, um, near to distant future plans that I have in the works. Um, my immediate plans are to retrieve my head from those, those scallywags way off in that direction. They're actually right across. Th like, they're really close. That's the nice thing about living in the neighborhood. All of us are so close, practically in sh each other's backyards. It's like one rocket that way, and I'm in their base. It's really, really close. Um, but I think for now, um, until, we, until we get, you know, to that point of rescuing our head and all that stuff, I think what I want to work on is setting up our uh, sugar cane. And I... It's been a while since I made a sugarcane farm, and so I'm gonna have to take a quick read up, but I wanna put them in this section here and that section there, and then if I can somehow manage it, and I'm sure it's possible, I just have to, you know, give it a hard think first, I wanna cycle it maybe into the same system as this, 
and then just push more more backwards or maybe no maybe hmm. different idea because we're we are kind of full up over here i could put more back here but if we go too far we're gonna be like running into the iron farm or the mob farm itself so maybe that's not a good idea however i was thinking i would just put standard chests here but maybe i can i can mimic this exact same design put it on this side and have the sugar cane go into one column and then that leaves me seven more columns that I can eventually feed things into like uh, bamboo or um, the cactus for example so maybe that's what I'll do maybe I'll have automatic sorters on both sides um, that's definitely something to think about hmm. eventually I think it might be worth uh, having the sheep automatically filter somewhere because right now they just go into those chests and you know eventually those are those chests will fill up the white one the white chest the white wool chest is already heading there we're, we're, we're doing pretty good you know we've got a third of the way there and that's a double chest even so um but yeah that that might be worth thinking about but the sorting can wait for later for now i think i want to just at least get them into place for now they can just filter into a single chest like right next to it or something that i can manually retrieve from as needed so let me grab some resources let me double check the design and i will be right back Alrighty, and welcome back i have i think gotten pretty much all of the resources i'm gonna need i just wanted to go through a quick um i don't know do we call it a proof of concept? I mean, I'm sure somebody's done it before, but let's go over it anyway. So this is basically the design I'm thinking of doing, at least from a technical perspective. Of course, we're going to still have to dress it up so it looks good. So we're going to have a rail cart, or a rail line, and we're going to take a mine cart, and we're going to put a hopper in it. Uh, maybe like that, okay. And we're going to slap that on top of the rail. And then we're going to take some sand, and we're just going to put it on top, just like that. And we're going to take some stone, pretty much like this. And in a minute, you'll, you'll when we get to it, you'll see why we do this. Um, up there, it'll be a lot easier. Actually, up there, it'll be probably a little bit different than that, to be honest. Um, but ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pick. And, and you can see right there, see how we've got that very thin hitbox selected right here? That's just like two pixels or something like that. That's the, that's the uh, rail line. We're just going to give that a little, little tap. And this, and the block of sand just falls right down into that hopper. Or the, the hopper mine cart. Um, and then, let's see. We need uh, the water. Yep, right here. And because this is a block, it doesn't. the water doesn't leak. It doesn't shove the mine cart or anything like that. And with the water here, we can place our, our, uh, our sugar cane. And then, you know, you could just shove your entire sugar cane, you know, because your piston's going to break it or whatever. The sugar cane's going to fall, and that hopper minecart inside of this block is going to just suck it right up. So, there we go. We had 14 bits of sugar cane. So, let's uh, grab that water before we do this. If we get rid of all of this, get rid of the sand block, we should have a the rail line in there, because I was down there, the sand, and 14 things of sugar cane. And apparently a random bit of bit of stone as well. <laughs> but that's essentially how it's going to work. Now, of course, we're still going to have to have some sort of collection system, taking things out of the hopper mine carts, take, you know, taking them to a general collection space. Um, it's probably going to be higher up than I thought it was. I'm hoping it's going to fit. Um, oops, I'm about to lose some of my sand, which is not a good thing because I only, like, only had 17 blocks of it. I had to go mine some, actually. But it's not a big deal if I have to find, mine more. I've got some... Uh, you know, in the rivers nearby, but uh, I, I'm hoping it'll fit. I'm thinking to myself, um, right, this level will be probably hoppers. I'm thinking. I think is that is that how you? I'm pretty sure that's how you collect things out of hopper mine carts. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check that. Sorry, I I don't play around with, with mine carts very much. What can I say? Um, so this row right here, right here, will be in the very least, it'll be hoppers leading off this way. I would I would imagine so that it, you know go to a chest or go to our automatic sorter down here whatever the case may be um, and that's fine and then the next row up will be the sand and the hopper minecart itself I think and then we'll have the bit of sugar cane that stays all the time and then we'll have another bit of sugar cane up here and there will be a piston behind it and then another bit of sugar cane up here and that, that's going to have the observer behind it 
and that should be as tall as it goes. We'll put the redstone behind there to make sure everything works, you know, whatever redstone is needed with, you know, the sorting and, and all that sort of stuff. So that should leave us with two blocks to spare if, if I'm doing my calculations correctly. Um, and, and that's good, because if I'm doing my cal calculations incorrectly, that means we got two, two squares, two spaces to, of wiggle room to, to deal with. So I think what I should go ahead and do is, I, I don't usually like doing redstone on camera, because I'm a little slow and clunky at it. Um, so I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and do like one side and see if I can't get this working. Um, and, and then I'll bring you right back and we can take a look at it and whatnot. So let me get at this and I'll be right back. Okay, so you know that part where I said I'd bring it back after doing one side? Well, I, I might have forgotten about that and I might have maybe done both sides? Maybe just a little bit? So, here we go. It's done. <laughs> I also realized I had forgotten to turn te uh, connected textures back on. Um, I turned it off because I don't know what the deal is, but over on my Bastion series it just seems to make it all the worse with the lag. So I turned it off over there. I forgot to turn it back on over here. I like it way better with connected textures on without those horrible lines between every single glass block. You can actually see what's going on back there. Um, and I think that adds a nice splash of color in this room. Um, and I even got to use the uh, lantern blocks, uh, you know, well, lanterns, I guess I don't need to call them blocks. And I stuck a couple behind the sugar cane to give it a little illumination. Now, the one thing I, I did on accident on this side, and then I was like, eh, I guess I'll leave it at least for now. So I did it on this side on purpose. I have the stairs out a block here, which is, a, which is what, exactly what I want, but I accidentally put them behind the glass up there. And I'm not sure whether I want to leave them behind the glass up there or if I want to bring them forward um, and just have a three high glass block chamber. Um, so let me know what you think. If I do keep it like this, just as an idea, if I do keep it like this, I could put flower pots up there and then flowers in there and that would give it even more color. So just, a, you know, just an option there. Um, and for that matter, I could probably do the same thing here uh, because I think behind there, wait, no, let me think about that. Now that I think of it, I think there's hoppers behind there. I don't think I could do that because I wouldn't be able to put a trap door to hide the hoppers and still have the flower pot on top of the stone stairs. So nope, I guess that's, that's a bad idea, but we could do it up there. So um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Should we leave it like this? Should I take out that top layer and put uh, flower pots? Should I bring it all forward and put it in line with these ones? Which, I mean, I could still do the flower pots technically. Um, let me know what you think. Flower pots, yes or no, and uh, stone, uh, the stairs behind or in front, or behind or on top of the glass. Let me know what you think. Um, I will do something here to give it a centerpiece, because, you know, we've got three heads here. Me and my two neighbors, um, or two of my neighbors anyway. Uh, and then over here we're going to have to figure out something... Uh, mostly design but maybe functional maybe more farms i don't know i do like how the green sort of like just kind of pops out in this room because we got a lot of grays and a little bit of wood but i really like how the green just pops so maybe we could do i don't know cactus or i don't really know how many uh, good farms would work in this area and, and you know looks halfway decent cactus farms i, I can build a killer cactus farm it's the wells night design um, but it's seriously overpowered and it's not all that great to look at, like, aesthetically, anyway. Um, currently, none of my sugar cane has grown up. You can see I'm up to two. This side's about to, any moment now, one of those is going to reach up above and it's going to trigger the whole thing. Now, now in this, uh, we do not have the ability to use our camera counts yet, which means no time lapses, which is why I'm really going to focus on building over here before I start working on it on major projects. Um, at least until we, I mean, hopefully we get our cam, our cam account soon. Um, it's mainly for a server stability thing. In the meantime, they have added a data pack to the server that allows us to go into Spectate. So we can just pop into Spectate and I'll go ahead and show you what we've got here. So we've got some redstone back here. What this means is because all this redstone is hooked up, only one of these uh, sugar canes has to go three blocks high. At the moment it does, the entire row is going to activate. So if, if, like this one in the corner, if that one goes three high, all of these other five that have already grown to two blocks are immediately going to be broken and theoretically fall in, onto the sand. 
I'm a little concerned that they might somehow snug back here, but I'm hoping that's not going to happen. If it does, I'll, I guess I'll have to put full blocks back here for lighting, like glowstone or something. Um, and then, you know, we've got the, the redstone in here. I tried to encase it, mostly anyway, in stone bricks so that I don't accidentally bust my way through if I'm ever building back there for other purposes. Um, but yeah, this is, I think this is a pretty decent design here. Um, you can see the hoppers are, are the hopper chains coming along here. It's gonna, it's coming out over here. It, it has, like I said, it has been working. Um, you know, blocks that I accidentally dropped, they have been cycling through to this end over here. Um, currently it's a bit of a dead end. It doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I will need to probably fashion some sort of item sorter over here, like I was saying similar to what we have on the other side. But for now, this will do. I'll probably just like slap a little double chest down here as like an intermediate uh, like stopgap measure, I guess. Um, and just in case you want to see, since we're already in spectator, this is, uh, this is what my iron farm looks like. It's pretty deep. I have it this deep so that uh, by the time they drop down here, while they're down here dying, they're far enough out of range that they won't prevent more up there from spawning. Um, and in case you want to see how much torching up of my base I have done, I have done a lot of it. Um, still a lot left to go, especially on that side of my base, but yeah, I've done a lot of torching here. I've actually done a lot of torching up with Mrs. Wells at her base as well, um, and having a, a blast doing that with her. Um, so let's, uh, pop out of Spectate. And the nice thing is it takes you right back where you were before, so that's pretty nifty. Um... So yeah, and, and it also keeps, you know, people from using it to sort of cheat their way around or anything like that. So yeah, this is what we've got going, and uh, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this design here. Um, it's pretty compact, it looks pretty good in my opinion anyway, or is about as good as you can expect from a, from a sugarcane farm. I really like the pop of the color behind the, the pillars, the beams. Um, I think that's going to be a really good thing, and I'm, I'm hoping I can do something similar on the other two sides as well. Just to give this this uh, grand entrance, or not, it's not even really all that grand, but um, this large antechamber a, a, a nice appearance. I think that's going to be pretty important, considering once you step down these stairs, you're into like farm heaven basically so this is going to be the the main aesthetic area of the mountain part of my base um but i think we're pretty much out of time here i uh, i've got to get this episode edited rendered and then start uploading it tonight because this is friday because i procrastinated all week long i know it's horrible of me um i just was really tired one day i just came home from work and went, oh, pretty much went straight to bed um, so it's just been that kind of a week for me, but I hope you've enjoyed the episode nonetheless, and of course I always hope that you keep on coming back for more. If you've got any comments, suggestions, and all that stuff, definitely feel free to leave it down there in, this, in the comment area, and I will take a look. Um, but until next time, I hope you have a fantastic time, and I will see you later. Bye!